Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Time to do a bagel review. Today we're uh, in Scarsdale. We're going to start hitting Scarsdale area next couple of days or next week, whatever. Uh, so today we're going to start off at Bagel Power in Scarsdale. It's in the Horseshoe Plaza. Um, pretty good, pretty good looking place. Got a couple of negatives that I, I that really kind of threw me off, but so we're going to start with the bagel itself, and then we'll get the negatives afterwards. So I went in. Order my bagel with lox bread, everything bagel. It looks pretty well done. Bagel itself looks pretty good. A um, little soft, but it's got a little well doneness to it. Like you can see, it looks a little crunchy, but when you squeeze it, it looks like looks pretty soft. So we'll see how that goes. But they got some weird shit going on in that store. I gotta tell you. Um, let me just take a bite of this first, and then we'll talk about that. All right, the bagel itself is average. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. It's probably around two hours old. You know, it's fresh. You can tell it's fresh. It's around two hours old, not not older than that. Um, there's no heat to it, but it's got. You can tell it's like not old. So the bagel itself and the lock spread is pretty good. Um, probably from a tub, not homemade, but it's not bad. Uh, they might add, you know, chunks of locks to it afterwards to help it out, but it's not bad. Um, overall, on the bagel itself with the lock spread, I give it a 6-6, six, six, so it's not bad. Um, of course, once again, it would be better if it was warm. There was no crunch. That's always a problem. It did have flavor with the seeds. There was a good amount of seeds, but no warmth and no crunch. That's got to bring it down to like a 6-6, six, six, like I said, maybe 6-5. Um, but let's talk about the weird shit going on in here. I'm walking in here and they got sprinkle flavored cream cheese, tofu flavored cream cheese, blueberry cream cheese. What the fuck is that? Who's eating sprinkle flavored cream cheese on a bagel? Please tell me. If you're eating sprinkle cream cheese on a bagel, I want to know because I don't understand who in the world eats sprinkle flavored cream cheese. Totally threw me for a loop. I'm like, what the hell is this? Who's eating sprinkle flavored cream cheese? Um, but then they have the bagels. So after making it, somebody's obviously eating it. I don't know who, but you know, what's a Jew to do? 